when we were working with David Rogers just a moment ago, but we want to get that advice on your air conditioner in your car in this hot weather. David, hi. Well, hi again. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. <laughs> a little preventative maintenance needed here, probably. Um, hey, what I was talking about was the fact that refrigerants today, the stuff that we actually put inside your car to make it cool, um, there's a couple different kinds of this stuff. Um, one's called R12, one's called R134A. We don't expect you to remember that. However, one's more expensive than the other, and it's the older style. Your car can actually be retrofitted. We can actually take the old components out, and, and not every component, but a few of the components, and make the car so that it can run on the less expensive, more efficient, uh, newer refrigerant, which is also easier on the atmosphere, on the ozone layer. And that's the reason that the federal uh, government requires that we test the car and evacuate the system, and that's what that big honking machine back here is for. We actually pull everything out of your system, test it, and then make sure there's no leaks before we perform the service again. You know, some of the, the components in an air conditioning system, I mean, we've got everything from tiny little expansion tubes, um, orifice tubes and expansion valves. We've got uh, receiver dryers. All these different things are very, very expensive. So you want to make sure and bring your system in and have it checked about every other year. Just have them test it. Um, if for any reason it's not blowing cold or you're, you're getting hot air blowing through the system, it becomes pretty important at that point to find out why. Do we have a leak? Do we have an uh, improper refrigerant in there? We actually have a test here. Every time we do a service, we actually test the refrigerant to make sure there's no hydrogen or propane in there. Some of the imitation refrigerants are very, very dangerous in your car. So don't go for the cheapest service you can get. Try to find an accredited facility and a certified technician to perform that service, and you'll find that you drive around a lot cooler. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Go, we got you. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. I was just telling Natalie that actually when it gets warm, I run the heater and do Bikram yoga in the car. And actually, <laughs> seizes the opportunity. Yeah. Well, you know, all guys, about you give that. me lemons. I make yeah, but the deal is, since <laughs> you have a limo and a driver, or whatever, it's real hard to do Bikram yeah. in the whatever. In yeah. the, Hummer or limo. You should see it in his car. If you ever sit in a stoplight, you'll have his. He can have a class in there. I do not want to see you with your leg around your the back of your neck.